There's a huge need for more housing in LA. There's, and you can build a backyard home on more than half of the single family home properties in LA. That's over 150,000 properties that you can build a backyard home with a kitchen and bathroom inside of. A lot of homes today are built low quality, essentially. A lot of corners are cut to get the homes to be cheap without thinking about the repercussions of that on people's quality of life in them. If you look at a lot of other products in our lives, whether it's cars or furniture or clothing, it's made in a factory. And as a result of being made in a factory, it's a low cost, high quality, abundantly available. We said, why can't homes be made in that way? That's what we're doing. We're making homes very precisely in a factory. A lot of prefab companies in the past have simply taken traditional construction methods, two by fours, hammers and nails, drywall, and replicated those same processes inside of a factory. But that doesn't actually change the quality, change what's possible to do. What we've done is we've redesigned the entire way homes are built from the ground up with manufacturability in mind from the start. So this is a CNC milling machine. It's a computer numerically controlled milling machine. And what it allows us to do is create a CAD file that has the specific parts that we want to make drawn out on the computer. and then it cuts them to a level of precision that is just impossible to achieve on site. And we're looking at a thousandth of an inch tolerances. We make them here and then we deliver them flat packed as panels and assemble them on the property. So on the ceiling, you've got four ceiling panels and you can see the seam there. Likewise on the wall, you have four wall panels. And that's, so that's what this is made up of. It's made, made up of these panels that clip together. So all the panels are pre-made, pre-engineered, pre-designed, pre-cut, pre-painted, pre-wired, pre-plumbed. And then on site, they're assembled, kind of like high-tech, life-size Lego blocks. So there was a state law that took effect in 2017, and it allows for backyard homes to be built on a lot more properties than ever before through a streamlined permitting process. So a non-discretionary review process. Before, if you wanted to build a backyard home, your neighbor from six blocks away that doesn't even see your backyard could come in and say, I don't like how this looks and prevent it from being built. So now with this new state law, you can look at the zoning and actually know whether or not you can build a backyard home. And that's, that's why we were able to build this software tool. So uh, it asks you for your home address and if you live in Los Angeles, you can type that in there and start your design. And so it shows you right away, you know, our data shows additional structures on your property. It's pulling from actual, knows your property, I mean, it's pulling from actual city documents or something. Right? So the city doesn't have this data available uh, readily, all of this data available. So what we've done is aggregate data from different municipalities, county data, property data, but then look through the zoning code and codify setback requirements, area requirements into algorithms that we then use to generate what the potential of your property may be. Uh, and it looks like there's a garage of some sort in the back, but you have some options on what, what it may be. Um, in this case, we'll say it's a garage. And, you know, do you want us to remove it? Um, so if we say yes here, ask you how you'll primarily use your cover space. Something popular is in-law suites, rental units. Let's go for an in-law suite. You want a bathroom, and a kitchen, and which look do you like most? And there are some palettes that you can pick from. So this is, you know, a black exterior with black floors on the inside. This is a light wood exterior with light floors on the inside. You know, your budget. You know, once you put in your information, it'll show you all the potential in your property. 
now someone can find out you know, rather than going into the planning department and chatting with them for hours and then going back home and doing zoning research, we've taken that whole process, turned it into a data-driven process. We've also applied that to the manufacturing side of things. So they're not normally on wheels. This is just on wheels because it's our demo unit. So one of the big things that we focus on is making small spaces feel big. And one of the ways we do that is through having true floor to ceiling windows. So normally with most sliding doors, you have like a two to three inch frame on the bottom. And that two to three inch frame is where the, the rollers are. What we've done is we've taken the rollers and put them inside of the track. And that allows the glass to go right to the bottom and create this true floor to ceiling feel. They're really, really high performance from a thermal perspective, really smooth. We make these windows ourselves. So normally these are windows that would cost anywhere from 10 to $20,000 for one, one sliding door. Because we're doing things in the factory and doing them very efficiently, we're able to do that for a lot less than that. And the same thing's happening on the ceiling. There's no frame, right? It just completely opens up. So another example of a small detail like that is the power outlets. Most power outlets have a faceplate around it. That's to hide the messy hole that's done in the drywall. Because we're building these in a factory and because we have a, the access to a CNC milling machine, we're able to cut a hole that's precisely the size of the outlet and put the outlet there. That gives it this really sleek, modern feel. What we're doing is we're taking advantage of what you can do in a factory to actually improve the quality of, of the product. The other thing that we do is we, we made these cabinets with groove handles. The groove handles are this really sleek, high-end detail. Which is not something you typically find. No. Because? It's very expensive to do if you don't have the right machinery. And then bamboo interiors for the cabinets. So bamboo is great because it's incredibly sustainable. It grows incredibly fast. It's a very hard material and it's dimensionally stable, meaning it's not gonna warp or change over time. In order to make it even more sturdy, what we, what we do is we have three layers of the bamboo and we have the layers with the fibers going in opposite directions. So any kind of forces inside of those layers counteract each other to make it really, really stable. One thing that a lot of people ask for and that we, that we do is these slit windows. These windows that offer light into, into parts of the space but don't take up a lot of the wall and still keep some privacy. And, and because we don't have the frames, yeah. if you had a two to three inch frame on a window like that, it'd be, it'd be you know, maybe half the amount of glass. But because we don't have the frames, it looks incredible. We've integrated all, you know, normally ceilings are one of the overlooked parts of, of design and construction. And all the sensors, lights, sprinklers, speakers tend to make them really messy. And so what we've done is we've created this recessed lighting track. It's a matte black recessed lighting track. And our lights, vents, speakers, sensors, they all go in there so that the ceiling is clutter free. So, so you'll see, we actually have seams, right? And these seams are well designed. And these panels, this unit is built as panels. It's, it's wall panels, floor panels, ceiling panels. And these come together to form the unit. So we deliver these panels to the site and then they're already pre-wired. Plumbing is already in place. They're pre-painted. Everything is done. And the only thing that happens on site is an assembly. And it's not an assembly process with hammers and nails and cutting and saws. It's really like assembling Legos. So we're designing these homes. We've engineered the panels. We've engineered the system so that it comes together on site quickly and really well. I knew prefab wasn't a new idea. I went and actually worked for a prefab company and it quickly realized that that they had a model-based approach. They had a series of pre-designed layouts that you could choose from. But every property is different, every homeowner is different and wants something tailored to their needs and to their property. And realized that the solution that would allow prefab to become the norm and really increase the quality of living in the spaces that people live in would be a combination of a way to create unique designs in a scalable way and maintain the kind of quality that you can achieve with mass production. So here's a one bedroom design with a, a big living area, kitchen, bathroom, shower, bedroom area. And then we have, you know, over here, we've got a kitchen with an island, a bathroom, and then two bedrooms. So very different designs. However, they're both made up of the same system that we've developed. So the reason we're able to produce them at high quality is that it's, it's a system. We're not designing it for the first time for each unit even though everyone has different shaped properties and different shaped needs. Yes. So you can do use, C's, skinny, weird, I don't know what you'd call this shape. 
what we've done is we've pre-designed and engineered the details. So the way things connect. So the way the floor connects to the wall and the way the wall connects to the door and the way the door connects to the ceiling and the way the sink connects to how everything connects is pre-designed, pre-engineered. And then those can just be recombined in an infinite number of ways to create any kind of design. As a factory built housing manufacturer, we're able to not only build the units in the facility, but also have our inspections in the facility. And that's great because now we can do site work at the same time that we build the building, but also means all the inspectors come here to, to perform all their inspections. So it's much more efficient uh, and it's much easier to control the quality of, of the product. So that, there you go, from working with software to just yeah. doing some manual work. Yeah, uh, so these are cut on the, on the CNC actually, but I'm just uh, modifying them slightly. We, we, our mission is thoughtfully designed and well-built homes for everyone. And you know, the thoughtfully designed part, we're doing that because we're using software heavily, we're using computation heavily, and we're taking the design intent of team of designers and we're scaling that up and making it really accessible to everyone by reducing the cost of achieving yeah. those designs. That's why we're taking a panelized approach and looking at automotive as a parallel. That's the only other industry that builds things of a similar scale, of a similar quality that we're trying to achieve. And we're trying to take that process and apply it to homes.